How's it going there? Cinestalker here for another video. In this video right here, just me hitting up some just some little random things around town, just kind of going with it. And also, at the end of this video, I have a few movie reviews I'm going to talk about too, so look forward to that at the end of the video. But before then, let's go around town so that I can find movie-wise, little weird oddities, maybe some retro toys. Who knows? Maybe some old soda I can drink too. That'd be kind of nice, huh? I need some old soda. But anyway, let's go. I'm going to head to this little antique shop. It's like in this little antique barn. I don't know. I've never been here before. Let's go see what kind of random stuff they have in there. Because usually antique places are kind of cool for finding interesting VHSs, retro toys. We are. And this place has two different stores, I think. There's one right here. And there's one right here that gets both the same, though. This place is like Antique Mall, it's called. Let me go check it out right now. This place is pretty big. Kind of reminds me of the one I went to with Sean almost a year ago. Maybe less than that. The one over in Temecula. I'm not over there. This sort of looks like it. it has a definitely that kind of same look. Man, these, are, these creepy looking clown rattler things, things like that, little, little noisemakers. These look kind of scary, but I like them. I'm walking around here, seeing what I can see. Oh, oh, interesting statue. Let me cover that up. I really can't see what's going on here in this statue. Yeah, it's kind of, a, kind of a bad statue. Look, this is kind of neat. Look at this Alpha and the Chipmunks. Little, little beanie baby things. <laughs> That's funny. Well, those used to be collectible, but not anymore. <laughs> Across this old Simpsons Illustrated thing, it's really old, you can tell. They're promoting Dutch, that, that classic movie. Promoting that in the back, this is definitely from like, probably 89, 90, 91, around that time, I don't know, I don't know exactly. But let's see what's inside here. Maybe they get some old ads, I'm sure. It's pretty rad though. Ninja Turtles, look at that. That's awesome. Let's see what they get. So I want to find this is the stuff I want to find. Look at this. This is fantastic. These old ads. Look at this. Let's see if they have what they have in here. All the old colors. And this is promoting like what Nintendo you can see right over there. Look at that. I love that kind of stuff. Check this out. Nice ad for Game Boy. With the old Game Boy one like a big brick. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Fudge bars. Look at those. I don't, even, I don't even remember those. That's pretty neat. Totally rad. This game from Nintendo. Man, if you had that now, it'd probably worth some money. Drop Dead Fred ad. That's so rad. That's amazing. Gigantic ad for Genesis. Look at that. <laughs> That's when it first came out. Wow, 1990 game of the year. This is definitely uh, old. 27 years old, this thing is. I love going to antique shops because the interesting things like that you'll find inside old magazines, old things. And over here, it's like I see some Sesame Street albums. Look at these. Look at these guys. C is for cookies. It's definitely yeah, vinyl. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fantastic. There's another one right here. It looks like Bert and Ernie. Or just Ernie. Or Bert, I mean. Sorry. Bert's Blockbusters. That's funny. And kind of creepy, too, to have that in the wall. That is frightening. I'm going to go to the other store location, which is right across here. See what's inside here. Check these out. These wonderful world of Disney gardening unused seed packets. 12 bucks a piece. Look at those. Disney seed packets. They can have a little garden. That's interesting right there. We can still grow some stuff out of them. But look at this. This is all kinds of Disney things. Like straws. That's trippy. That's like some old 70s stuff. 50s and 60s. I thought it was 70s. That's older than I thought. Look at this. Paint box set, all kinds of pretty rad Disney old school stuff in there. That's awesome. And this, that's pretty rad too. This King Kong puzzle, jigsaw puzzle. Check this out. OJ Simpson on trial, special collector's edition POG set from 19, uh, early 90s POGs, the not guilty slammer. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot they had that, and I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Inside this case, you have some old watches. Look at this. Nutrisweet Mr. Magoo. Crusty the Clown watch. Wow. That's $49. There's a Mario Brothers one over there. And below that is a Hulk Hogan watch. Check that out. I wonder how much that thing is. I don't know. I'm going to find out. We have a Star Fox one. I'm going to see why that Hulk Hogan one. That's pretty rad. I need the Mario one. It's pretty neat. 
All right, so I just left the two antique shops, the one Hulk Hogan and the Super Mario Brothers watch. They were like both 45 bucks a pop, so I'm not gonna pay that for that. But they look really cool though. But I'm like, yeah, I'll skip on those for right now. So now, I'll have to somewhere else. Right now, I'm still just walking around here, just checking out the La Mesa area, seeing what's going on over in this area. That was a cool little spot. Check this out, it's a record shop. Vinyl CDs, tapes, DVDs, toys, and books. This looks awesome. Look at this, these are some dollar DVDs up here. I think I can find, get lucky and find Gleam in the Cube, but I've never seen this before. Let's go, let's go check this out. These, rad. You can take a chance on Masker ones. Humongous. That's insane. Autographed by Gunnar Hansen, too. That's awesome. Look at this. Zombie poster, Phantasm, a bunch of things. Check this out, Bonnie and Clyde sing-along. <laughs> That's awesome. And then over here, I'm gonna see some big box VHS. Look at this. The real Bruce Lee for $6. That's awesome. Video gems too. And right here, some wizard video stuff. Tormentor. It's a Giallo, I believe. That's so cool. Like what? And then below that, you have some Teenage Mutant Turtles cartoons cards next to the movie cards. Wow, that's fantastic. One stick of gum. That's so cool. I may just get one just because, you know, get the old gum in it. That'd be funny as hell. And Cindy Lauper cards too. This is some old, older gum from 1985. Delicious. I should, I should eat these. Right, here's a bunch of VHSs. And I know I love those. Let's see what they got down here. That's a cut box though, that's still pretty rad. Yeah, the old Beastmaster and Gem. That's awesome. Vikings. I have no idea what this is. Then up here, look at this. This badass Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Child Standy. That's insane. And then up here, you have a talking Freddy. Oh man, you get the CEDs up over there. Wow. This is crazy. All kinds of stuff up here. This is a brand new chest of guys. It's only been open for like two months. This is amazing. All kinds of things. Look at this. This Walt Disney thing. The black hole. That's awesome. Old school right there. This is fantastic. They have all the albums too. A bunch of metal albums up here also wow you got a bunch of cassettes too it's like a bunch, bunch of everything in this joint so glad I came in here and there's a bunch of posters here also you have Hellraiser see what else they have behind it I'm curious oh that's killer critters oh, I love it Nitrals too secret to use I have this poster actually yep I do have this one look at that man that's fantastic only 15 bucks for that too not too bad. Shocker, that's ten dollars. Wow, I'm about to buy some of these posters. Look at this basket case one. Next to it too. I'm gonna see what's on this side real quickly. Flight Navigator. I love that movie as a kid. Kind of sad too. <laughs> An earthing. That looks rad. I never even heard of that. Beautiful things. There's a bunch of good stuff right here. Oh, the Carpenter Wings Hauser. <laughs> that is insanely cool. This is a Critters promotional uh, store promotional. It's, it's like a gigantic VHS tape, but it's not. It makes that. You have the Phantasm Ball. Look at that. I just left that record shop. Place was amazing, super, super cool. Definitely, we'll go back and try to buy some more stuff. But I picked up one thing. I picked up these, the Cindy Lopper trading cards with um, three glossy cards, three, you know, three stickers, and one stick of bubble gum. Which I'm gonna try the bubble gum out in a little bit. It's from 1985, the bubble gum. But but first, check out my movie reviews right now. After that. I like the bubble gum. Get my movie review portion of the video right now. I'm gonna do it real quick. Just a few titles to talk about real quickly from Arrow Video that come out this week and later on this month in August. I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite movies of all time, right up here. 
classic reanimator, the classic, you know, 80s movie directed by Stuart Gordon, starring Jeffrey Combs as Dr. Herbert West and his rejuvenating agent to bring the dead back to life. That's pretty much what this is about. I'm sure all you guys have seen this movie before. If you haven't, definitely, definitely check out Reanimator. And this edition of it right here looks amazing on Blu-ray, packed with features like the DVDs they had previously, and with some new stuff on this thing too. You guys, the contents of this set, check this out. This thing is loaded up. Great and beautiful edition as everybody always does with their movies. And here is the back of it. You can see all these contents. You get the you know 4K restorations of the movie, unrated, and the uh, integral versions of the flick. Really, really nicely done. All kinds of features in this thing. You get the two Blu-rays, unrated version, and you get the integral version of the movie right here. I watched them both already. These lobby cards in this set too. Check this out. Thing is jam-packed, loaded. Here's a nice booklet. A nice little write-up. Some um, pictures of the movie right here. I said, I'm not going to spend the whole movie. I mean, I'm sure you guys seen this one before. You know, this one's just a classic, especially if you're a horror fan. This is like a must. The classic with the head. And it gives head to Barbara Crampton. But <laughs> it attempts to. But here's like some lobby cards in this thing. Just great, great stuff. Just such a classic, this thing. And this pretty much right here is a graphic novel adaptation of the movie itself. Um, really big list and packed with great great artwork in this thing. This is a great great set beautiful set So I want to show you guys the contents of this thing. This came out last week. It's available now um, Just a fantastic beautiful edition of reanimator. You know, this is pretty much the best it's ever looked it looks amazing A quick little look at the you know contents of this edition right here in case you guys are interested in getting this That's what it looks like inside definitely. I would say upgrade and get this it looks amazing So it's packed full of goodies and it looks amazing on the shelf too. Except here by Era video is this one Ronin a 90s movie a crime thriller movie almost like it has like a 70s crime thriller kind of feel to it directed by John Frankenheimer starring Robert De Niro and Jean Reno from the professional and you know, De Niro, of course, you know, one of the best actors of all time. Both great actors and this great star-studded cast of this crime thriller, you know, not a cat mouse game, but this like a lot, lot of, you know, um, things go on in the movie, like they like they go after some takes place in France. And, you know, Robert De Niro's character and Jean Renault's character to try to go after this this guy has his briefcase un with undisclosed contents in there, try to rob him from it. And then in, in the process of doing that. All this crazy crap happens, like a lot of like Two Face stuff goes on, a lot of befriending of friends goes on, a lot of crazy like who done it kind of stuff happens. You're not sure who to really trust, and it's like a pretty much like a like a definitely has that kind of feel like to the French Connection kind of feel to it when you watch this thing. A lot of cool shootouts, great suspense, looks amazing on Blu-ray. This thing looks really really good. Here's the back of it right here, loaded up with all kinds of features in this thing. You get some commentary by John Frankenheimer. You get behind the scenes, new 4K restoration. Old school interview with uh, hosted by you know Quentin Tarantino interviewing Robert De Niro in 1994. That's a great feature. I love that thing. Thing was really really cool. Here we go. The inside. You can get the Blu-ray, and if you want the old school you know VHS DVD cover, you get that too. But I like the new one a lot better. To me, it looks really cool. Like it sticks out a lot more. And you get this booklet in here. Like everybody always provides of some pictures and a little write-up of the movie. It's a great fun movie. I haven't watched this movie in a long time, so it's good to revisit this thing. Good old Ronin. Good classic right here from the 90s. And last up here is this really good set from Japan. Uh, this director named Kinju Fukasaki in, a, in the uh, New Battles Without Honor and Humanity collection right here in Trilogy. Really, really good stuff. Uh, this is a fun, neat crime drama set about the Yakuza you know, crime families in Japan. Great violent movies made in the 70s. Great. I've never seen this before. This is a great, beautiful box. Let me show you guys a little bit more of the contents, what it looks like inside. The cover in a little better detail. Beautiful set, man. I love the Arrow video. These hardbound cardboard sleeves, okay, cases for the DVDs. Here's the back of it. Right? You get three movies in this set right here, all about the Yakuza. It's about like a drug addiction, like a hit, hit man and stuff like that, and all kinds of violent stuff and vengeance and revenge and all kinds of crazy crap. Here's the back of this, like the contents and all these extra features in this thing. Interviews. Get featurettes of the style of movies of these Yakuza films, the Kinju Fukasaki movies. Get a great featurettes on the director himself. Uh, people talking about film historians talking about him. It's really, really interesting, actually. And here's the movies you get itself. Great cover art. I love this one. That's probably my favorite movie is this one. It's really good and violent. Crazy crap in this one. I really liked it. And this one, like The Last Days of the Boss. All good movies. Here's the back of them right here. I'll show you guys the inside. I get this great booklet, too. Some great original. Artwork of some of the posters that they did for the films, other films too, in his career. The Blu-ray and the DVD, so you can play them on both systems if you like. 
And you also get original poster art on each set too, which is amazing. But I like the new covers. They're kind of comic book looking, you know, like graphic novel comic book looking, but I do like them. But the original ones are really rad too. I'll go through each one of them so you can see what they look like. And here's this one right here. My favorite one out of the bunch is this one. I love the boss's head. It's really good. Check out this. In the last days of the boss. This is another good one. All right, that's it for my movie reviews. If you guys enjoyed that, link down below if you want to get these titles at and more. So now back to the movie stalking around town video portion right now. Let's get back to that, shall we? But yeah, these, some good stuff. Especially your animator. Freaking love it. I hope you guys enjoyed my movie reviews. Only a few of them, but links down below in case you want to get those at. Now try for me to get and try out this 1985 gum. You can see right there, 1985 Cine Lopper gum. Here we go. Some of the wrappings unwrapped. Here we go. I'll show the cards in a second. Here is the gum. Some classic crappy Bazooka Joe. Look at that. Totally 80s. I love it. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. And these are like stuck together. Look at this. There we go. They're all stickers. Sticker. I guess these, no, these are the cards. Okay. Look at that. So some shots from her concerts and whatnot from back in the day. The whole wrapper is stuck on this thing. Look at this. I can't even. I'm trying to try to get it off. It's it's all stuck on there. Oh man, I'm trying my best to get this thing off. I'm trying to get this wrapper off. Right after a few minutes of me getting this wrappings off, you can see it's still some paper and crap on it. It's even a little bit of like I think foil right there. So I'm gonna try this out. 35 year old gum. Let's do it, huh? It's pretty pretty gross. Oh, tastes like cardboard and plastic. Yeah, gross. Oh, anyway, mm, it's pretty nasty. Anyway, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of it. I'll catch you guys later on the next one. Hopefully I survive after eating this. this oh, horrible.